Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will just write our first server and we will see how it works. So this is server.js right and uh, with node evolving node.js there are many framework available which will help you to create HTTP server like Express, Restify, Koa, Happy. All these are actually giving you uh, capability to create a server and then they provide you to provide you a way to write HTTP routes like get, put, post, delete, patch, all these methods you can write and you can expose these to the client side so that your React or Angular app can, ex can access them. Okay, what this particular code is doing, it is just starting a HTTP server. We are not using any kind of NPM or external tool. Like first of all, NPM. NPM is actually coming with server, uh, Node.js in uh, installation. So if you just do NPM, then I'm able to access it, right? So so you should also be aware about how to create a package root JSON and all. I will just cover that in this example only. NPM init you can trigger and you can just write some basic. Okay, here you have got the package root JSON. Now if you wanted to install Express, then you can install it like this. So Express is actually used to create HTTP server. And this is actually a uh, Node.js uh, framework to write the APIs and now you can see now you got the node modules and a lot of things gets added right because Express has dependency on all these modules and you got this package.json and package log.json log.json has a definition of uh, all the packages like Express is dependent on all these package dependencies here you can see the Express is added so this is the basic package.json definition here you can write a uh, scripts like okay start script so how can I run this node so npm run start I can say so what it will do is it will just run node server.js okay so it has started my server which is just uh, doing something I you can just put some console logger here whenever the client is connected so I am just running this on 8000 port and if I do Local host 8000, then I get hello world, right? So, because this is what we are sending to the client back. So, whenever the client is getting connected, we are actually executing this callback. I mean, this is not something new code, it's the same thing. Uh, what we have written is we have written this in a, another function. You can wrap it in the same function itself. Okay, now it sounds familiar. So this is the callback function, HTTP server takes this request listener function which has a request and response. Here you can do all these different things, accessing things from request and once you process them, get the data from the request body, request parameter, query parameter, request headers, then send these things back in the response, response.write and uh, so the client will receive them. Okay, so this is the basic HTTP server. Now in future we can also use express uh, this express installation is just a simple thing which I wanted to show. I'll just add a git ignore file so we don't need to push these node modules. Okay, so this is clear. Uh, this is the basic uh, app which we have created here. We have exposed these 8000 port and we are able to respond to the client. Okay, one more feedback to the Node.js developers who are coming again, I mean, who are started learning. Don't look for any other thing like Deno.js and all. Deno.js has long way to go. You start looking at the Node.js first, the Node.js core modules, the external modules, user-defined modules, and try to write your code, try to write your API backend here because currently everything is built in the Node.js environment. Deno.js may take a long time to reach to that level where it can it can be a competitor of the Node.js version currently we have. 